Unboxing A-Ride. It's now time to unbox your A-Ride. Grab a utility knife and cautiously cut the tape that seals the top of the box. Open the top of the box and remove the front wheel and all other boxes. Now cut the front of the box from top to bottom with your utility knife. You now have access to your A-Ride. Grab the fork legs with your two hands and pull A-Ride out of the box. How to install the front rotor. Use a Torx 25 to install the rotor on the hub. Place the rotor with the writing facing you. Tighten your rotor bolts in an X pattern. We highly recommend to use a torque wrench to torque the bolts to four Newton meter. How does the front axle work? The axle lever spins at 360 degrees. This is normal. Use the rectangular slot on the axle to use the lever as a tool to tighten or loosen the axle. We recommend to apply a bit of grease on your axle before installation. How to install the front wheel. Get your axle ready in the fork. It must be flush with the inside of the fork dropout. Take the rotor gauge out of the caliper. Lift your A-Ride with one hand or ask someone to lift A-Ride by the handlebars for you. Slide the front wheel into the fork, making sure that the rotor goes into the caliper nice and gently. Push onto the axle and make it slide through the dropout and in the hub. Then grab your axle lever and place it in the slot to tighten the axle. Don't use strength to fully tighten the axle. Take the lever out of the slot and place it at 12 o'clock. You should be able to lock the lever using the palm of your hand. How to install the headlight. Use a 4mm Allen key to install the headlight. The headlight will sandwich the fender mount with the fork bridge. Make sure the headlight is plumb. Tighten the bolt. How to install your handlebars. Use a six millimeter Allen key to install the handlebars. Unscrew the four bolts off the stem plate. Grab the bars and put them in the stem. Place the stem plate back on and start screwing the bolts in. Make sure the bars are centered and in the optimal position. The gap you have between the stem and the stem plate should be the same at the top and the bottom of the stem. It is recommended to tighten the stem with a torque wrench 
and torque the bolts at 5 newton meter. How to adjust your front brake. To make sure your front brake is well adjusted, we suggest to unscrew the caliper bolts only with your wheel correctly installed in the fork. Then grab your front brake lever and tighten the two caliper bolts. If you can still hear your brake pads rubbing on the disc, then center the caliper as best you can in order to take the rubbing noise away. How to turn A-Ride on. Use the key provided with your A-Ride. Place the key in the ignition turn it a quarter turn clockwise, then press and hold the orange button on the remote located next to the bell on the left side of the bars. Display turns on. Press the top arrow on the remote to select the speed you would like A-Ride to start on. A-Ride is now ready to go. How to turn A-Ride off. Turn the key counterclockwise and take it out of the ignition. How to turn the headlight on. Make sure that the headlight is on light position, then press and hold the top arrow on the remote located by the bell on the left side of the bars. Do the same to turn the headlight off. How to apply throttle and brakes. We suggest you use your right thumb to apply your throttle. Throttle position can be adjusted with a 3mm Allen key. We also recommend riders keep one or two fingers on the brakes at all times. When you don't need electric assistance, take your thumb off the throttle. How to inflate or deflate your fork or shock. We recommend to set your sag of your suspension to your body weight. Suspension user manuals are in your A-Ride box. If not, you can find these numbers online, either on rstsuspension.com and on xfusionshocks.com. Once you know the pressure you should use in your suspension, take the Schrader valve cap off. Using a shock pump, only inflate or deflate to the desired pressure looking at the gauge. Once the air pressure is set up, unscrew the pump from the fork or shock. Put the valve cap back on and do a test ride. Repeat as required. Plugging in or unplugging the charger. Grab your charger, plug it into the wall outlet. Take the rubber cap off the charger port. Plug the charger into the A-Ride. When the light on the charger is red, it's not charging. When it's orange, it's charging. And green means it's fully charged. Time to rock and roll 